<coughs> so Alex, I'll need you to put a uh, check mark by that payment and okay that right there so we can get your Jag ready for delivery. 703. Uh, Steve, that might be kind of steep for me, man. I don't think I can do that. Well, um, Alex, you can do it. You just don't want to, correct? <laughs> Uh, uh, hey, I, I understand. Uh, let me ask you this. Would that be the highest payment by a bunch you've ever had in your entire life? By a bunch, yes. Okay, I mean, I get it. Look, we, we're running into this every single day. Not to worry about it. Um, Alex, other than the payment, though, everything else is cool. Nothing else would stop you from taking the Jag home today if we could just fix this payment thing, correct? Correct. Well, Alex, we're going to fix this payment thing. I'm going to give you everything I'm about to do in writing, including the graphics. The graphics are very important. This is storytelling at its best. Okay? Alex, look, you're buying a $30,000 vehicle, and your payment is $703 at 72 months. I get it. You don't want to make it. It's the highest payment you've ever had. Right. But the Jag's right, isn't it? It is right. Yeah, the Jag's it cool. It is right. Okay. Look, here's what you don't want to do. Okay? I'm drawing a check. You don't want to write a check for $703. You don't want to make it out to a lender. You don't want to sign it, and you don't want to send it to the lender. I get it. Okay? Mm -hmm. I don't blame you. Um, Alex, you know, this is going to sound a little crazy, but you're really not going to pay $703 a month to drive this vehicle. You're going to pay significantly less, all right? I mean, and you're, it's going to happen for a couple of different reasons. Number one, you're smart and you're buying a used vehicle, all right? Um, the biggest part of the depreciation for this vehicle is way in the past. Mm -hmm. It's going to depreciate very slowly from now on, but everybody pretty much knows that. What everybody doesn't know is that every time you stroke a check for $703, well, you probably think the lender's going to keep it all, don't you? Yeah. No, the lender's not going to keep it all. Mm -hmm. There's a savings element to every check you write. Because when you make that 72nd payment, Alex, what comes back to you in the mail a couple weeks later? Title. The title. Right. And the question I've got for you, because it's a pretty cool title, it's called Free and Clear. Mm -hmm. There's only one name on it, and that's yours. Mm -hmm. The question I've got for you is if you drive this Jag like you intend on it, you use it like you intend to, but you don't crash it, you don't trash it, what do you think that Jag will be worth six years from now? About the same. Well, it's, it's probably going to go down a little bit. Can we use like 20000 20000 Okay. You have a phone on you? I do. Pick, pull that phone out. Because six years from now, Alex, you're sitting with a car that's worth $20,000. You've got no car payment at all. And you've got a title <coughs> that's worth $20,000. Divide 20000 by 72. Two seventy-seven. Two seventy-seven. Let's say two seventy-eight. Round it up. Well, yeah, two seventy-eight. Alex, do you know what that two seventy-eight represents? The payments I've made. Every time you write a check for seven hundred three, on the way to the lender, metaphorically speaking, two hundred and seventy-eight is flowing right back to your title. There's a, I mean, you're saving almost 300 bucks a month when you make a car payment. Mm -hmm. So do me a favor. Take 703, subtract 278. 425. That's what you're going to pay to drive this vehicle. You're going to pay 703 to own it, 425 to drive it. Need your okay right down here. God. I'll sign that. That's crazy. <laughs> What's easier to say yes to? 703 or 425? Oh, yeah, the way you explain it, it's easy to pay. Like, I heard it, they're going to be like, oh. That's a sale. That's you know what the number crazy. one customer response to this is? I've done it hundreds of times with live customers. The number one customer response is, do that again. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to ask you to do that again. <laughs> do that again. <laughs> 
The yeah. math, the math is really you easy. The equation for it or something. Well, no, 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 it, it, no, no it's, it's, it's the, look. It's the setup. Look, um, I, oh, you ask the customer this number. What do you think your car will be worth in six years? Or whatever the term of the loan is. What do you think your car will be worth in six years? Whatever number they give you, what do you divide it by? 72. The, well, the, the term, 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 term of so the loan. It's different. Right. Mm -hmm. And then the term of the, and then that gives you the amount of money that it's is really coming to back to the customer money. every time they write a payment. Mm -hmm. I did this with a kid in Lafayette, Louisiana two weeks ago. And I said, uh, one of the salespeople in the crowd, he said, well, can I do it with my payment? I said, yeah. He's paying like $65 <laughs> to drive this car. <laughs> his, and his gross payment's over 700 but he bought the vehicle right, it's actually increased in value.